you stay behind for very many I am the National Program Coordinator of Association of Small Scale Agro Producers in Nigeria, ASAPI. It's a non governmental organization registered with CSC based in Abuja to work with small scale farmers across Nigeria. Um, I think I give kudos to the state government of Africa State for taking this great initiative in the process of ensuring that they have put a state agricultural policy that is going to be state specific according to the culture, according to the norms, according to the geographical location, according to the soil type, and according to the value chain crop that is available within this small state. It is one of the few states in Nigeria that have undertake this process so far. We've been calling upon the state government and the national government to ensure that indeed they go back to the state level, drawing their agricultural policy that they will give to the federal government minister of agricultural policy. The one that is taking place on the national level is the agricultural promotion policy. The Abraham state government now has come down to the state level to develop this policy that is going to key into the national government uh, agricultural policy, which is also going to contribute to the Malabo and Kade comprehensive agricultural, uh, uh, Africa agricultural program development, which is key. By the time that this policy comes out, it is going to be a marketing tool for the state government of Abraham State in agriculture. Because donor funding will also want to come and invest in agriculture that will touch the life of small scale especially women and youth, that are predominantly the ones that are engaged in agriculture. And of course, it's going to create a lot of job opportunity for the youth who are roaming about the street. The impact of this project, I mean, uh, agricultural policy, whenever it is finally come out and government invested money to make sure that it works, is going to take away some youth that will be roaming the street and embark on some social devices that will be a kind of threat and security to the state government. So the youth will be engaging. For example, somebody having uh, 200 beds, will he have time to go and stay in the street and leave his bed hungry and dying there? No, he will not going to do it. And he's going to reduce the high number of uh, political togrees. Most of the youths that are being engaged in the political togrees because they don't have something doing as such. But for somebody to take five naira or one thousand naira to go for a political campaign, leaving his bed that he will not go. So the essence of this policy is going to create a lot of impact of, uh, in the lives of the youth to give them the opportunity to, to explore, to be innovative, to be an employer of labor, to create work for themselves, and then the work for their household as well. So this policy, when it is passed in the law, when it is come out uh, and back it up with financial commitment, it will go a long way to transform the economy of our private states.